Hey everybody, it's Chris here at It's Mead Made, and today I'm actually going to be replacing the motherboard right here in my Ender 3 Pro. Um, the reason I'm replacing it is because a little while ago, my memory card slot stopped working. The spring broke in it, so it does not actually stay in. If you see that, it doesn't click, so the spring broke, and which caused me to have to get a brand new motherboard. So I'm actually upgrading to the silent motherboard, so I'm actually kind of excited by this. And uh, I figured might as well make a tutorial on how to replace it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing is, is I've actually got to set this on its side because the Ender 3 Pro, actually the, how you access it is on the bottom. So I'm going to remove this plate right here and just disconnect it. So all I'm going to do is just remove these two screws and take it off. All right, the two screws are off. The last thing I've got to do is just unconnect this right here. And there we go. So set that aside and that cable will be just fine. So now I can set the thing on its side. So I'm just gonna grab it, angle it and set it down. And now we can see where we access this. So these screws right here, this one, this one, and this one are the ones that we've got to take off. So after you've got these off, you're going to notice you can't get it off all the way. So you've got to remove this bolt right here. Okay, once that's off, you'll find that the plate comes right off. And the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to see all these wires, but the plate is going to be connected to the fan. And all we're going to do is unclip the fan so we can take it off. And now's a really good opportunity to clean out your fan if you have any dust and things like that. Like mine's actually really dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that stuff out and clean it off. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull out these. And you're gonna notice that they have little tabs on them so you'll know exactly where they go. So this is the X, this is the Y, this is the Z and this is the extruder. So we're just gonna go ahead and take these out. And they may have a little piece of glue on them just from the manufacturer and you just kind of snap that off. So there we go, there's those. So you'll notice right there, there was a bit of glue and I could not get it off. So I just use snips to take it off right there. Nope. So first I'm gonna get this ribbon cable out of the way. So I'm just gonna pull this back. And we all know that that goes to the control panel. Okay, so now I have access to all of these down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. Now there are pieces of glue from the manufacturer on there, so I just snap them off. All right, I'm gonna take the purple one out. Then the white one. There we go. And the piece of glue for this one is on the very bottom, so you can see that. So don't be afraid to take these pieces of glue off. They only put that on the manufacturer. So next piece. There we go. And the next one. So I'm actually going to push this cable back around the white ones so I know what order they go in when I put it back on. But these I'm not too concerned with because they are labeled. And I'm just going to go ahead and snap these off. There we go. And take that off. So now I've taken all of these off. 
And then you can kind of see just above there, it says Y stop, Z stop. So we know what these are. So the white one, I'm actually tucking this one away so I don't confuse it on which one it is. So now I know that that one is the farthest one, which is the E temp. So there we go. So now the last thing we have to do is unscrew all of these. So we're just going to unscrew them. Here we go. Okay, those have released. And now these. Black on the right side, red on the left. And those come out, perfect. Now, Black on the right side, the smaller cable, and this one. Okay, those are all out. And then the last one left is the power cable right here, and it's a lot thicker. So red on the top, and black on the bottom. So you can see right there. Okay, so those are out. Our motherboard is 100% unhooked now. So now that we have this unhooked completely, we have a bolt here to unhook, here, here, and here. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, and once we have the final one, the motherboard is ready to come out. There we go. All right, so the old one is out now. Now it is time to open up the new one. And here we go. Here's the new one. They, you can tell they look pretty much the same. Uh, but this is the upgraded one that's more silent. It's actually got a fuse in it. Uh, I'm not a technical person, but it definitely looks cool. <laughs> All right, so first things first is I have to get this reattached. And getting it in with these little tiny bolts is not going to be super fun. So I'm going to go ahead and hold this in, hold this nut in, while getting it in position. So now I'm gonna get it lined up and in the right spot, and the one thing to note is the SD card does slide in that hole. You are not gonna get it in its position until you get this SD card slid in. So once I have it in position and I'm starting to draw down the first bolt, the best thing to know is you might not be able to get it in the right position until this SD card right here slides in that hole. So it actually sticks through there just a little bit. So if you're trying to get it flush, you're not gonna be able to. So you've got to get this in there first. That's why I started with this top bolt first so I can actually get it in there and hold it into place. So, now just moving through and getting these bolts on. And just remember, you do not want this super, super tight. You just want to snug it down. And here's another one. 
and try not to mess with the board in any way. Just get the bolt right in there and try not to slip or anything like that. And last one right here. And there we go. So now the motherboard is secured. So the next thing I'm going to do is start with honestly the hardest thing, and that is getting these wires back in and tighten them down. But the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that all of these right here are loosened. Because I do not want to force them in. There we go. Yeah, because some of these are tightened down, making sure they're good. Okay. All right, so now we gotta finagle these and get these back in their hole here. So red is in, I'm going to tighten it, oh, okay so I got these two tightened down now, and now to go through the rest. Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and stick these in. Uh, the red one on the left. And there we go. So now I have all these wires hooked up. I've got these two little ones, red on the left, then these two, red on the left, and then these two. Okay, now we're ready to plug all these back in. So you can see right here, X, Y, and Z. So you're gonna look, so here's my X. And X is gonna go right in. So we wanna make sure that they're in there really good. So we've got X, Y, and Z now in. And they're in all the way. So the next is the white one. And then the white one I pulled away so I knew what order it goes in. And then the purple, the purple goes in the bottom slot right here. And then this one will be the fan. Then we can go ahead and put the ribbon cable back in. And that slides in real good. There we go. Lastly, we have the top, the bigger ones. So we're going to get E. This is E. E goes in this one right here. So E, Z, Y, and then X. So let's get that in there. So E. And then Z. And then Y. And then the last one is X. And there we go. So this is X, Y, Z, and then this is E. And you can see how they're labeled. It makes it really easy. So we're going to get the fan motor back on. And that's going to go in this last position right above the yellow and purple. And I'm just going to kind of plug that back in. There we go. And the last thing we gotta do is just get everything situated back in. And there's a channel here where all these go. So once I got it in position, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one in first, this top corner. Okay, make sure all my cabling is okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get this longer one in to make sure that the cover stays. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna not tighten this one down all the way because this one has some give in it and make sure I get it in to the hole. 
And I'm just gonna snug these up now. So on the top cover, we've got this last little nut that held the cover on. Go ahead. And put that one in. After we've done that, the last thing we have to do is get our faceplate back on. So it goes in the last position. Go ahead and attach that. And install this guy. All right, then straighten it up and then tighten it down. And there we go. We have installed uh, the new motherboard on the Ender 3 Pro. So the one thing to know is if you actually have just a regular Ender 3, the, it is way easier because the motherboard is on the bottom. On the Ender 3 Pro, it's reversed. So the motherboard's on top. So you only have to take these plates off. So you take this plate, cover plate off, and then you can access it and you don't have to flip your printer upside down, which is really nice. Um, the Ender 3 is a lot easier to work on than the Ender 3 Pro, obviously. So the last thing we have to do is just turn it on. All right, so I just turned it on and I uh, heated up the bed and the extruder and I can already feel it getting warm. And that is it. So if you like what you've seen, uh, please don't forget to hit subscribe. If you have any questions, leave, them, leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Uh, feel free to jump over to Instagram. I'm really active there and you can um, follow me and even message me and we can chat. Um, but other than that, I just hope you have a great day. Bye.